and welcome to Oh Hello Maker. Whether this is your first box or you've been crafting with us for a while now, you're going to absolutely love today's project. An everlasting wreath made up from pampas grass, bunny tails, ruscus, oats and phalaris. I'm going to show you how to create little posies so you can go on to create a beautiful wreath of your own. Feel free to add any extra berries, grasses or leaves that you have at home already. Fresh eucalyptus, for instance, will give your wreath a real Christmassy feel. Then, come the spring, you can add little flowers like forget-me-nots or daisies, narcissi even. I want you to see this wreath as a wreath for all seasons. A sustainable wreath, if you will. If you do want to share anything that you've created on social media, please do tag me, oh hello maker, and use the hashtag, oh hello maker box. And do keep telling your friends about us too. Right, who's ready to become a florist for the day? First thing you need to do is give your pampas a bit of a shake to get rid of any of those loose fluffy bits and then you need to split the pampas up. To do this, section off some of the grass and find a bit that's naturally grouped together. Then you want to tear the grass off so it's still attached to the hard stem. You want to have quite a few pieces, ideally two larger pieces and about ten or more little ones. If any of the pampas falls apart, you can just bunch them together and tie them together with a piece of raffia. Now take out your florist wire and cut a piece roughly 10 centimetres long. Then get one of the larger pieces of pampas and wrap the wire around the stem a couple of times. Then position the pampas onto the hoop and continue wrapping the wire around the stem and the hoop to attach it in place. Now you don't want the pampas shooting straight out to the side, so find the middle point of the pampas and attach some of the grasses to the hoop with a bit more florist wire. Now once you've done one side, it's time to do the other side. So take the second large piece of pampas grass and attach it in exactly the same way. So wrap some wire around the stem first, Place it on the hoop and wrap the wire around. Then find the middle section, take another piece of wire and attach that bit to the hoop too. And now for the fun part, you want to create a selection of little posies. So get all of your grasses out and start grouping three or four different grasses together. You want to vary the height so they look more interesting and it's good to have the ruscus at the front because it's the smallest. Snip off the end and then wrap the wire around the base. And you've got your first posy. It's good to start with the pampas first as it's often the tallest stem you'll use. This time we're adding a few of the oats. And a bunny tail. And finally a ruscus again. Splay the grasses out a little bit just to neaten and then continue making up lots of little posies in this way. Until you have about 10 or more if you like. Start placing your posies around the hoop. Now I've got a bit of a confession here. I started off creating my wreath so it was very symmetrical, which is what you can see here. But then when I took a step back, I really didn't like it. So I decided to make mine asymmetrical, but you'll see that in a minute. Once you're happy with the positioning, start attaching the posies onto the hoop with a short length of wire.
Then once you've got one posy on the hoop, take another posy, then overlap it to cover up the wire of the previous posy. When you're attaching the posy, some of the grasses can get in the way. So do watch out for that. I recommend holding the wreath up from time to time just to see how it looks. You may just change your mind on the positioning as you go. Then you want to move over to the other side of the hoop and start filling that side with posies too. The great thing is, if you don't like what your wreath is looking like, you can just take the posies off and start again. And feel free to add some other flourishes yourself. Perhaps you've got some berries or eucalyptus. Olive leaves look lovely too, or even lavender. It's entirely up to you. And because our wreath isn't really Christmassy, it's a wreath for all seasons too so you can keep adding to it throughout the year. So as you can see here, I'm actually taking off a couple of the posies from the right hand side. I didn't like how symmetrical it was looking. And so I decided to twist it and add those extra posies to the left hand side. And I simply attach them using the florist wire. If there are any fiddly bits that aren't playing ball, you can always use a hot glue gun just to attach them in place. I added my spare ruscus to the join in the centre and added a few more dried grasses that I had at home. Now have a little tweak, you want to splay it all out, make it look gorgeous. And then to cover the central wire, I just got a spare piece of pampas and added a bit of hot glue to that. And watch out, it is a hot glue gun, so it can burn your fingers. So I just used the florist wire just to push it down in place. A few extra sprigs and yeah, happy with that. It looks much more striking to have one side longer and fuller than the other, but that is most certainly artistic license. You want to attach a length of twine to the top. A half lark's head knot works well here and looks really neat. 
and then I just added a dot of hot glue to keep it in place. And then finally, add your ribbon to hide the join where the two pampas stems meet. You can tie a pretty bow or just have a single knot and have the long lengths hanging down. Then snip the ends diagonally to neaten. And there you go, your beautiful, everlasting, sustainable, natural dried flower wreath.